So I recently got my hands on an old Dell XPS 8500 and this thing is over nine years old and it was covered in dust. Thankfully I have an air compressor that was able to get rid of pretty much all the dust that's inside. Also got a wipe to the outside and just cleaned it up that little bit to make it look as if it was brand new coming out of the box. Talking about specs, the one that I have, it's a Core i5-3350P clocked at 3.1 gigahertz. And this, while it's an old processor, is still no slouch for what I'm gonna need it to do. It has 16 gigs of RAM and two two terabyte hard drives. And while they're not the fastest things in the world, they do for the workload that I'll be needing. It also has a built-in Wi-Fi controller. And while it only connects to the 2.4 gigahertz channels, I'm gonna be wiring in ethernet anyway, and with the built-in gigabit ethernet, I'm gonna be doing perfect. So when I got the computer, Windows 10 was actually already pre-installed on it, and that was actually working perfectly fine. It was a fresh install and was working nicely. However, I kinda of wanted to change things a little bit because the computer behind me here, I already have Windows 10 on that, so I didn't really need just a second computer to run Windows 10 on, so I wanted to try things a little bit differently. So this is where FreeNAS came in and the thing about it is I'm still able to run all my VMs because mostly I'm just running Ubuntu server or the desktop version and I'm not really remoting into them all that much or even if it is it's via SSH which doesn't really matter if it's on FreeNAS or running on Zen server. And the thing is I had 4 terabytes of storage across the two drives and I wasn't really going to take full advantage of this within my VMs. So using FreeNAS, I'm able to create a share that I can access all this storage on a different device. And that's really the main reason why I went for FreeNAS, was just to really be able to take advantage of that storage if I needed to on a different device. So when trying to come up with a name for my FreeNAS system, I kind of struggled a little bit. I already have a Synology box that is just called Synology. So I wasn't really very creative within that. So I wanted to create something a little bit different and asking around a little bit, somehow, we came towards Alan. Alan! 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 Yeah, I, I I, don't know why. So somehow I have quite a lot of VMs running on this. I have six of the Ubuntu server VMs running. I have another one that is Ubuntu desktop, as long as Ranchero S as my Docker host that I run the likes of Unify controller off. So currently the CPU is idling about 7% with all this running, which is pretty nice because whenever I try and need to ramp up things a little bit, there's plenty of room to grow within that. And it's running around 30 degrees Celsius, so the temps are pretty low. Also, 10 gigs of RAM is currently being used out of the full 16 that I have, so I've got a little bit of room there to play with, but not really a whole lot because ZFS takes up quite a lot when I'm going to be adding maybe more storage to this box. So when I first got this computer and it was running Windows 10, it really wasn't the fastest thing, but with hard drives over time, they are gonna get that a little bit slower. So slapping an SSD would really make this computer a lot, lot faster. And it actually has a built-in software, an mSATA SSD, that would be very easy to simply install, but also just a regular SATA SSD could be installed as well. While I haven't gone for this approach because I'm running FreeNAS, which is actually running off a 16 gig USB stick and the hard drives themselves, while they're not the fastest, they'll be perfect for what I need with inside my VMs. So this is pretty much how I'm resurrecting this nine year old computer that wasn't gonna be used anymore into something that I'm pretty much gonna run 24 seven as long as I can keep it up. So that's pretty much what I'm doing with this computer now. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you guys in another video.